Hey everybody, this is a quick video on uh, an activity I did today with pre-K students at Chase Street. Um, so this is an, an example of a iPad accessory that you would be very beneficial for younger kids. Could be for anybody. But um, there is a setting inside of the iPad if you know how to get to settings. If you don't, you can just swipe down and then type in settings. And so in the settings area, under general, there you go, general, and accessibility, this is really hard to do behind the screen, um, there's an area called guided access. If you hit guided access, and if it's not on, you would turn it on, so it's off, that's on. What you want to do is you need to set a passcode in order to use it. So if you set the passcode, um, you can make it something easy. I just do the corners clockwise. Make sure you do it twice. Make sure you didn't mistype it. So now, when I open an app, such as this one. So now, let's say that you have students using this app, and you don't want them to be able to push the home button and exit the app and cause problems for themselves. Um, what you can do is you triple tap the home button, so like this. And you gotta do it fast. There we go. It'll ask for your passcode, which you saw what I did a minute ago. And then it pops up this little menu. Now, um, in the menu, um, if you want to turn it off, uh, the guided access that is, you can hit end or resume if you've made some changes. But what I did was I turned, I made sure the touch was on. This is an app that needs touch. But motion is turned off. That way if they turn the iPad, it doesn't rotate their screen or something. And also under the options for um, the hardware buttons, I turned the volume buttons on, um, but the other one off. And that way I can adjust the volume if I need to without having to go all the way back into the, these settings. Now once you've made the setting changes, if you hit resume, so now, if I touch the home button as a student, it doesn't take me out. Like, I can't exit this app. I'm locked into the app. In fact, it has a little note at the top. It says, triple click the button to exit. So it gives them a little cheat thing. So they can, if they can read it, they can do it. But then if you want to end the guided session, you do the triple click again, type in your code, and at the top, hit end. This will save you lots of um, trouble with uh, using iPads with five-year-olds like I did today. Have a good day.